and welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably see I am at university finally and as you can probably hear from my voice I have got a little bit of freshers flu um, so I'm going to apologise now for the sound of my voice. I also just want to say that there is works going on outside so there may be a little bit of background noise. Also I haven't got my studio lights with me so I'm relying very heavily on natural lighting. So if it goes in and out um, I'm sorry I can't really control that because I haven't got any space in my room to bring my big lights. And finally I'm so sorry for not uploading, I haven't been uploading for ages and I've been really really busy and just really out of the schedule. So I really want to apologise to all of my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and I'll try my very best to think of new content for you that I can actually film and it's possible for me to film in uni around my schedule. So anyway, saying sorry and apologies is not what the video is about. Um, so I'm going to get into the main part of the video, which is showing you guys my university room, which is really exciting. Now, Freshers is over and I have got my room to a point where I actually feel comfortable and it's so cosy um, and it was actually just cleaned as well. So that's another reason why I want to show you guys before it starts turning into a bit of a mess again, because with people coming in and out, it's so hard to maintain a university room, trust me. So yes, I did one of these videos last time, it went down really, really well, so I thought, why not do it again? So this is University Room Tour 2.0, same as my first year university haul. So I'm going to do it in a vloggy style, I'm going to take you off my large camera, turn to my vlogging camera and just show you around my room. So without further ado, I'm going to be showing you where I'm going to be living for the next year. Okay, welcome to my vlog camera. So. I've just opened the door as you will have seen and the first thing that we come to is a set of two pegs just to hang up my dressing gown and various coats. So this is my lovely brand new dressing gown from Primark because I actually left my dressing gown at home and I can't live without a dressing gown. Um, and then I've just got a coat, puffer coat and some jumpers and my going out handbag from Pull and Bear, very very handy. So yeah, that's the first thing that you see when you come into the room, apart from the radiator, but that's quite boring. Got my uh, Primark sliders down here, which are very, very handy. So another thing which I had to buy from Primark because I left at home was my laundry basket. Um, and these are one of the pop-up ones, so it just, yeah, it's very malleable. And that's all my washing because I need to do a wash. So now for my bed, I have got a three-quarter bed, which is incredible. Um, this, if you have seen my first year university haul, this is my marble effect um, bedding from Primark with matching cushions as well. And then I've got my Naps Fix Everything pillow which is by Zoella. This cute little heart pillow there from Primark. So as you can see most of my things are from Primark but how good does my bed look? Um, I've also got this beautiful hand knitted throw that my auntie made me for um, the last time that I went to university. So yeah, I think that really makes the bed so, so cozy, very hard to get up in the morning. So now I'm going to move on to my big cork board. Um, I've got this poster here, which says blog, insta, coffee, repeat, um, which I got from Coconut Lane, which uh, I happen to be like a blogging member of. Um, this is a card that I got from my Nana, which is very, very sweet. Wishing you all the luck in the whole wide world. Uh, this is my production plaque, which I got when I was doing film studies. If you've been watching my channel since the very beginning, you will have seen that in my last university room tour. So if you are a really, really old viewer and you've stuck around, please let me know in the comments anything that you've seen from the first haul. But it is up online anyway if you do want to go and view it. Um, it's just first year university room tour, I think, but it's from 2015. So yeah, if you are interested to see the comparison, definitely go and check those out. So then I've just got some really cute family pictures. How adorable is my dog? Not smudgy. As you can see along the top, I've got some star fairy lights because obviously my name means star. So yeah, those came with me last time as well. This poster has actually caused quite a big stir amongst the flat because when I first moved in and I first put it up, every time someone would come in the room, because I've got blonde hair, they thought it was a picture of me kissing a boy, which I thought was very, very hilarious. And they asked me if it was me and my boyfriend. 
which is before they read that it was a Jack Wills poster back from 2012, so <laughs> I'm very flattered that they thought I was a Jack Wills model, but yeah, very, very amusing. So that's that poster. And then just got some more pictures along the bottom. That there is my Freshers band. And this is my Pointless Blog limited edition signed poster. As you can see there, that was also in my old room. Uh, this is very cute as well. The plaque on the right, which says, Many people may promise you the stars, but only you can reach them. It was given to me by my Nana as well. She's such a cutie. So yeah, that is my board. So moving on to the windowsill, I've got a really cute picture of me and my girlies from the ski season and a card from my mum and a picture of everyone from Bestival. So this is my desk. I've got my copper lamp from home base, which is another one that came with me last time. My Mac, which I could not live without. Similarly, could not live without my Love Island water bottle. Call me sad, but it is an incredible purchase. One thing which is probably highly unnecessary and very extra is my Nespresso coffee machine, but it actually works out cheaper in the long run because it's per capsule for a nice coffee, it's like 10 times cheaper than going to Costa or Starbucks. So when I was working, I thought I may as well invest in a coffee machine so I can have nice coffee and not break the bank by going to Costa every time. Sorry, Costa, I do love their coffee still, but Nespresso is something else. So this is super handy, it is my mirror and it's got a ring light there for doing my makeup. My TV, which has got a built-in DVD player, although I was going to bring it to watch the things like Bake Off and stuff, but there's actually not a port to plug it into the satellite, so um, I'm just gonna have to use it for DVDs or for Netflix. I've got this here for keeping all of my files, and my printer, which I'm yet to get working. I'm still waiting for one more cable, and then hopefully it will work. A couple of things at the back, nothing too much, apart from 25% off misguided, thank you, I will take that, and free pizza, yes. Okay, moving upwards onto the shelves. So this is my shelf for all things stationery and work related, so um, I've got a really cute recipe planner which me and my mum have been filling in for when I got here just so I know how to cook. Um, I've got some uh, photo albums with some photos in, and these are all my work files that I'm starting to get together. I've got a four-sided hole punch. This is a really handy little thing filled with pins and stuff for my board, and little pegs as well. Got some glue, I've got a pencil sharpener, sellotape, stapler, and then my box of Sharpies, and some scissors. This is one from last time as well. It's the one that says study equals singing, tumbling, unlimited texting, dreaming, and what's the last bit? And yawning. This is a Primark purchase two years ago, but I do love that. And my really lovely pen that my dad gave me. So moving on, this is kind of my makeup and jewelry section. So my Victoria's Secret makeup case is a must. This has just got little bits of jewelry like earrings and things in. This is a lovely little plate that one of my best friends gave me um, and I use it for, as you can see, dumping watches and various earrings and bobbles and things, but yeah, very handy nonetheless. My Yui Boom speaker, which I absolutely love. It's so portable as well, absolutely amazing, and the sound quality is perfect. These are some old favourites, the classic IKEA makeup brush holders, or they're supposed to be for plant, for plant pots, but anyway. Um, yeah, so that's what I use them for. That's a Victoria's Secret dog, which my friend gave me. And then my sunglasses. So this is one of my favourite ones. I've got this really cool luminous sign, which I have put in the back of my videos, if some of you have noticed. But I've changed it to Fresher 2017, which I love, and it just lights up. Um, a little shot glass and some Malibu because obviously I'm over 18, <laughs> I'm always 21, shh, don't tell anyone. Um, and then my starlight. So seren, more serens, and more serens. Um, and finally, this is my toiletry shelf, so, well, apart from this picture, so I've got this really lovely picture frame, um, two makeup bags, this is the brand new Zoella makeup bag, and this one is personalised with my name on it, how cute is that? I got that for my 20th birthday. 
And then in here, it's just all of my essentials. So giant dry shampoo, got deodorant, Cetaphil, hairspray, tampons, obviously. Uh, I've got the Dipra base for my eczema. Got some micellar water. Yeah, basically, this is just a treasure trove for toiletries. So the next thing I want to show you on my desk are my drawers. So the top one has got all of my makeup in it, which is actually quite messy, I do apologize. So this is all my facings, foundation. I've got two Tangle teasers. Um, then these are all of my makeup palettes here and my contour palette, my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, yeah, eyebrow things. So yeah, this is a really, really handy item to have in my drawer for my makeup. This one has got miscellaneous things, but it's got my hair dryer, straighteners, hairbrush, my, more micellar water, you know, just general, general bits and bobs. And the bottom one, is full of leads and DVDs and some little teddies that I got given for going away. So the next thing I'm going to show you is my wardrobe which is surprisingly very very big, very roomy and has actually managed to fit all my clothes in. Although I have forgotten quite a lot of things at home um, despite being so organised or thinking I was so organised I've forgotten loads of things that I need. But all the clothes I have brought which you might think is probably going to be a lot when I show you, it fits so that's all I need. Also came with a Loughborough University air freshener. So it's double door. Got all of my trousers and skirts, underwear, it's all my pajamas, and then my gym things, oh, and woolly hats and scarves. So these are all of my clothes, and then I've got my coats at the end. Absolutely love this brand new purchase. It's a coat from Zara, absolutely gorgeous with fur inside, so warm. And then up here I've got my shoes, so I've got my trainers, I've got a few uh, going out handbags in the corner, my more trainers and my heels. Oh and also my camera bag. And at the bottom I've just had to put some spill away things from the kitchen, um, that's all of my toiletry, more toiletries and cleaning products, so I've got bleach in there, very exciting. Um, and shopping bags, because I don't like paying 5p every time I go out, and those ones are a lot more durable, so get yourself some long life bags. Um, and then that's just full of dressing up stuff, because there's always themes to dress up with on okay, Fresh. so finally we're going into the bathroom. So this bathroom is actually a wet room, um, it's got the shower curtain there, so it hasn't got a basin, so everything runs on the floor, which is kind of annoying, but it's also quite cool how it works at the same time. So I've just got my shampoos and things, my Sanex special stuff for my eczema. Um, yeah, there's literally like no storage in here because it is a wet room. It's actually a really decent sized mirror as well. So yeah, and it's got quite good light. A star. Toilet, standard. Toilet roll holder, standard. This is the toilet brush from last time, if any of you remember. Um, I bought this brand new bin as well from B&M. Got my toothbrush, Steridant. If you have got retainer, Steridant is the best thing. This also is a very good toothpaste and it's very cheap. Febreze air freshener because so many people come in and use my toilet and then it just smells horrible. Um, and my soap pump from last time as well. These are from Asda, but obviously they don't do them anymore because it was two years ago. This is literally all the storage that we have. This is a really, really old bag, but it's just got a few things in there. And then my towel rails, which gets really hot, and to be fair, it dries things very well. So yes, my Primark towels. So that is everything for the bathroom. One last thing I want to show you is my rug. So this is exactly the same rug as last time. I got it as a present for going to university the first time and it's come with me again. And the cleaners just hoovered it. So yeah, it's nice and fluffy. So that is my university room tour. I've got to go to a lecture now. So 
I'm just gonna end the video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my room and seeing the comparison between last room and this room as well. Um, I'm so much happier with this university already and I'm so happy with the room in general. Um, if you have any questions that you want to ask me about my experience moving or just anything to do with university life then please leave them in the comments below and I will do a QA. and a um, and similarly if you do have any videos you want me to do at all like at all please leave them in the comments because I'm really struggling at the moment to be creative and to think of brand new ideas for filming so you guys are my audience and um, I'd love to hear feedback from you guys so don't forget to comment down below Hopefully my voice will be back to normal next time. Uh, please give my video a thumbs up for me speaking the whole time like this and for fresh as flu, give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my videos. Thanks again for watching guys. Big kisses. Bye.